welcome to Empress Moon Tarot 777. My name is Ocean. I like the way. <laughs> you know how the ocean rolls in, kisses the shoreline, rolls back out, rolls back in. <laughs> ocean, welcome to my channel. Those of you that are connected to the Ocean Moonflower Tarot channel that I just recently started, um, I will be posting some Pisces Cancer Scorpio videos up there in the next day or two. Ooh! We started out with a bang. The Wheel of Fortune. Now, unfortunately, um, Earth and Fire have been finished. They're going to be uploaded uh, later tonight. Uh, unfortunately for Capricorn, this was a bad card. <laughs> Just noting, it was pretty bad. Um, but let's see what we've got. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Lovers. And the Three of Coins. Wheel of Fortune. So some sort of change could be with regards to a business partnership. Because if we're looking at this, this could be business partnership. Um, this could also be a family dynamic, friendship dynamic. It could be a relationship in which two people are choosing to compromise and work together. Or it could be a soulmate connection that's uh, recently started and is building a nice strong foundation. Six more cards, please. The Guru. This Hierophant is so cool. Look at him. The Guru. Peace. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs> it's very hippie-ish. I've been doing the peace sign in pictures since I was way little. <laughs> so I like him. He's pretty cool. The Emperor, hello, and the Ten of Coins, all right. So it could be a business partnership, definitely. Um, if it's a business partnership, it looks like there's it's going to be financially lucrative. Um, if it's a relationship, it also could potentially be financially lucrative. With the Ten of Coins underneath the Three of Coins, I see this could be two people that are working together that um, may go into some sort of business partnership together and it could be very, very lucrative. The world showed up at the end of the, f the first three cards and it's showing up again now. I'm going to take it and we're going to leave that there. Um, the world indicates a new cycle. So somebody's got a fresh start in their life. A fresh start either with regards to a romantic partnership or a fresh start with regards to a um, business partnership. Let me grab some Oracle deck, an Oracle deck. Hold on. This is the one I want. I still want the Oracle. Let's see if it wants to tell us anything else. Just a note, five of these seven cards are major arcana. Somebody has got a big life change occurring here. You definitely have co-create and look, change in the wind, which would be the Wheel of Fortune. Hold on. Wheel of Fortune is the change in the wind, right? You got not for you came out in the reverse and then that is indicating that something is for you. Um, this relationship or this business partnership, you have imagined the possibilities. We literally have co-create. This is two people who are starting to gather fresh building either a business together or building a nice solid relationship together. Come to the edge is take a leap of faith. We got milk and honey, which is a, a nurturing energy. It's an energy of sustenance. Here and now, okay. This is, you need to focus on the present, not on the past, not, ooh, wow. Notice something. Signs, signs, directional change. Somebody's changing their direction. Um, that change in the wind with a fork in the road, somebody's changing their direction. They're not going in the way that they thought they were going. And they're trying to, to focus on the present moment. What is here in the present moment? Talk to me about the Emperor Ten of Coins, please. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Somebody's running out of time. 
to be fair, to bring a sense of, um, to extend an olive branch to someone. To be fair also indicates a um, potential contract. So it could be entering into um, business together, entering into legal contract with somebody or um, entering into a long-term committed relationship. Happy, happy. This looks fantastic. Somebody is kind of sitting still. They know what they want. They're going after it. And happy, happy. We have financial abundance. We have peace. We have contentment. We have a beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy. And sum it up for me, spirit. Sum it up. Give me a card that shows us all where this is going. This card, so this card keeps... It's not the first time, it's the second time it's done this. Truth be told, um, somebody is is holding back the truth of something. We have Yang, it could be a Divine Masculine holding back from a Divine Feminine. That's just for one of you. Treasure Island and exchanging gifts. Um, a gift could be the gift of time. A gift could be the gift of time. We have Valentine's Day, so there may be some sort of, you know, Valentine's Day gift. Maybe um, somebody might take them out, take someone else out to dinner. Um, exchanging gifts in light of the holiday might be related to that. Treasure Island is indicating somebody's feeling pretty content about what they have discovered, what they have found. Whether this is a business partnership or a romantic partnership, somebody's feeling pretty good about it. One more card, please. I just feel like it's not complete. Either that or I need to take a Whispers of Love. Maybe it's maybe it's romance, so I need to look at. Now I'll do the Lenormans. Lenormans. <laughs> that went flying all the way over there. <laughs> Let me grab it. Hold on. It's way out of reach. <laughs> I'm gonna use my very long legs to bring it over here. <laughs> All right. What is that? The moon. <laughs> the moon. Okay, so um, somebody's deep in their emotions, but they're not connected to this. Because this was way over there, right? So whoever's not connected to this may be deep in their emotions. Huh. It doesn't feel complete. Hold on, you know how I am. If it doesn't feel com complete, we gotta we gotta get some energy that's going to tell us. What is this? What is this? What is this? Flying moon card. Why is the moon card flying? The moon is reflective. The moon is introspective. The moon is hidden. Oh, wow. Marriage and distant horizons in the reverse. Somebody's not getting married. That must have been what this was. Somebody's ending a an engagement or ending a marriage and going in this direction. Remember I said a change of direction. Somebody's ending, it looks like somebody's ending an engagement. Um, they haven't broken it to the person that they're ending it with yet. And they're going in this other direction. Well, that explains the moon flying across the room. <laughs> it's unknown. It is hidden to the person. All right. Where, where's this change of direction going? Seven, seven, seven. Empress, Moon Tarot, seven, seven, seven. Sudden wealth, mature man. 
Sudden Wealth Mature Man. And it, they are, wow, they are making this really clear. Somebody is totally ending coffin. They are ending an engagement with somebody who says privileged lady in the reverse. Somebody who thought they could have everything the way they wanted it. Um, so we have a mature man who's saying, yeah, no, I'm not getting engaged. I'm on a new journey. Um, the engagement's over. Keep the ring. I'm on a new journey. <laughs> on a new pathway. Exchanging gifts. Remember, we saw exchanging gifts. I've got somewhere else I need to be. I've made this love decision to give to someone else. Wow. Immediately under that is courtship. Somebody's got a change of heart, change of direction. All right, my dears. I don't know who that part was for, but the rest of it looks really fantastic. <laughs> it looks like somebody's having to get themselves out of an engagement or a marriage first. So, <laughs> so if that's your situation, you will know. Love and light to you. Big hug from Ocean. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. And I shall see you guys again later. <laughs> bye bye for now.